everyone. My name is Damian Grajewski. I'm here today with uh, my colleagues from my university, uh, which will present uh, specific PNAs. Uh, it is Amadeusz Nowak, Piotr Czarek and Dominik Grybarczyk. And also I would like to uh, tell you that together with us is Professor Zoran Pandilo, uh, one of the participants of uh, our PNAs which will be presented. We uh, start uh, another uh, research cooperation with him and uh, it is a nice occasion that uh, he is already at put uh, today and we ask him to participate uh, in this session. Maybe uh, you, will, you will have the opportunity to ask him uh, about uh, his opinion uh, about uh, research day uh, which was conducted uh, in uh, June. Uh, in Poznan uh, University of Technology. So first uh, we will start with uh, the presentation of our first DNA. Uh, Amadeusz Nowak with uh, the help of Professor Zoran Pandilov uh, uh, will present uh, uh, that DNA uh, for you. So Amadeusz, please uh, start. Uh, good morning, my name is Amadeusz Nowak and uh, I'm from the University of Technology, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and Management. I have the opportunity to assist Zoran Pandilo in this project, um, which was uh, conducted in our the laboratory. The title of the project, Modeling of CNC milling machine, speed drive in MATLAB simulation and its visualization in virtual reality. The project was uh, conducted in June this year. The uh, main goal of the project was to visualize the work of CNC milling machine using advanced modeling techniques. And uh, then, after a simple visualization in MATLAB simulating, we could uh, be able to visualize, visualize this machine in a virtual reality environment like Elm Studio. Uh, Thanks to this, that we use MATLAB simulating uh, special utilities, we could uh, model the machine drive tools uh, more detailed. And thanks to Elm Studio, the visualization was uh, very good quality. Uh, first of all, we prepared a simplified MATLAB simulating model of machine tool. Here is the example of one machine tool drive. Right. Then uh, we could we make a model with the use of simscape toolbox in MATLAB simulating. Uh, we could, we, then we, will, we were able to compare the simplified simulating model with this uh, simscape model, which is a specialized toolbox. Uh, without big effort, we could make model more detailed. Uh, here is the comparison of uh, the simulation. Usually we perform more simulation. Uh, this is an example of step response of displacement of one single feed, uh, feed drive of machine uh, CNC milling machine. The blue line is uh, comes from a model that used simscape uh, element, and red line is uh, from the model that used uh, simulating the mm, only model. Uh, here we can see that, uh, in fact, Simscape model uh, model the feed drive machine of the machine uh, more precisely, more uh, more detailed. Uh, then, if we had the model, uh, when we had the model of the feed drive system, we made special visualization of whole CNC moving machine uh, using a CAD model of the machine and uh, we could perform a simplified visualization in MATLAB simulating using the data from 
single unit model. Here is a view of our visualization of CNC milling machine. Of course, the visualization is of course the visualization is simplified here. Then we develop the visualization in our studio. Uh, this model is more detailed and more precise in its visualization, but it's simplified in its uh, model nature. Then other closer look at uh, CNC for our link machine in Elm Hospital. Um, uh, we had the opportunity to present uh, our results in uh, some our department seminar and uh, some work in our laboratory, virtual reality laboratory. <coughs> Uh, the model of CNC milling machine was model was built in MATLAB simulator using the SimScape. We could compare simplified CNC model and uh, detailed SimScape model. Then simple visualization was made, and uh, based on this visualization, we made uh, more complex. Or detailed visualization in special virtual reality program and studio. Uh, we could, uh, thanks to the simulation in MATLAB simulation, we could check influence of some uh, of changing the some of optimization of uh, several field drive parameters, uh, which had effect on position and accuracy and, for example, dynamic stiffness. Uh, MATLAB simulating is uh, good for simplified visualization, but if you want to perform a more uh, better quality visualization, Elm Studio was, is necessary. Technical problem. Uh, based on our results, uh, we can uh, we can uh, we can sum up that uh, our research uh, would be useful for machine tools producers, and machine tools producers uh, do not have, um, may build a virtual model of CNC, of new CNC machine tools. Uh, instead of making uh, extensive prototypes, so it's a saving cost solution. And uh, based on the results, we are preparing uh, publications which will describe details, in details uh, the results of our research. Okay, so let's start uh, with uh, our second PNA. Uh, <coughs> so my colleague Dominic Rybaczyk uh, will present that. Uh, so welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Dominic Rybaczyk. I'm an assistant in Poznan University of Technology in Division of Megatronic Devices. I have the opportunity to uh, I have the opportunity to help uh, Dr. Ismail Popalogu from Turkey. Uh, to help uh, in his project. The name of the project is the uh, visualization of all robot arm driven by the PSM motor. Uh, he, uh, he was uh, in our university in August, uh, uh, in August uh, 2014. Uh, Professor Do uh, Do Dr. Ismail Topologu is com comes from the Turkey, from the Kampiri Karatekin University, and he worked work uh, in, in engineering faculty. Uh, the project number is 166. The project uh, plan contain the, was con contained uh, the following activities. Uh, permanent magnet synchronous motor and its controller modeling, 3D, 3D CAD model 
preparation, uh, MATLAB uh, simulink, uh, which include the sim mechanics and 3D visualization toolbox modeling, and in this software uh, there was there was performed some simulation, uh, Eon Studio model implementation, and visualization of the robot uh, arm uh, and uh, entire uh, Delta robot, if it will, it will be possible, and we uh, we. Uh, and Dr. Papaloglu done this. Uh, uh, what was the expect, expected benefit of this project? So it was the development of uh, permanent magnet synchronous motor and delta parallel robot uh, modeling techniques, uh, the possibility to test different control techniques and to uh, visualize, visualization uh, effects before uh, the implementation on the real prototype and on the real object, uh, and improvement of the virtual reality representation of Delta robot by the, by the, by the PMSM motor. Uh, ne next slide shows, um, pre presented uh, some basic uh, and the fundam fundamental uh, operation uh, in the three-phase electric machine and uh, especially uh, the synchronous motor. So we've got here the stator and the rotor, and the rotor is Based uh, basically uh, built from the permanent uh, permanent uh, magnets uh, and the and the stator with the uh, three windings, uh, uh, which is uh, separated apart in uh, 120 degrees. Uh, there are three pulsating magnetic fields, and the resultant of this three magnetic fields is a rotating magnetic huge field. Uh, to control this, uh, the next ne next slide show uh, pre presented uh, present uh, uh, the control system block diagram. So we've got here the um, motor and the control control system. To control this kind of motor, there is uh, important to change this three phase uh, structure of, of or the system to the two-phase system. To do this, there is important to use some transformation. It was uh, in this situation, it was part and crack, crack transformation. And after use the PI uh, controller, there are also use the inverted part transformation to change two-phase system to the to the three-phase system. Uh, Dr. Topolovic prepared uh, implement this this model and implement this. Uh, um, this, 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 this things to the to the model in MATLAB simulating software, and it looks like looks like this. Uh, the previous slide, maybe I will come back to to, to this. Uh, this slide showed one only a one arm control block diagram. Uh, after uh, after fir first uh, first uh, check of this. They are used. This one arm is used in a whole Delta robot uh, model. Uh, there are also used uh, in the previous slide. There are showed the control system. Now it showed the Delta robot mechanic, mechanical part of the robot, and it looks like this. To uh, to to model this, they are used uh, sim mechanic system. Uh, there are some uh, results uh, of the simulation. We've got here the three charts. The first one is the speed, uh, the next one torque, and uh, the last one is the current in each of the phase and two-phase system. Uh, simulation results uh, are very similar to data collected from the catalog of the remote because we've got the torque, uh, which is very close to the torque, which we can uh, check in the in the catalog, uh, and what is very important, the current in D axis uh, is very similar and very close to the to, to the zero point. What what was very important in the control system. Uh, now I want to show some uh, video from the from the simulation. Uh, so maybe someone help me to to open the video. Okay, so now we can see the movement. Maybe we will try to start this this uh, this screen again. So now we we can see the movement of of all 
uh, of the arms of the robot. But right now we can see the movement only of the one arm. So it looks like this. I'm now in a different in, in a different direction of the of the view. Idea behind this uh, the behind this project is to pre prepare the mathematical model of the of the real robot and the real object which we have in this uh, in our laboratory and which we prepare also to the general project and this manip manipulator delta manipulator looks like this. Uh, we've got some view of the PMSM motor which we which was used in this uh, this robot and the uh, and the chip box. Now we can see the control system. So we got the com for that, that's our computer and the servo in there, in inverters, which was which was used to uh, to control uh, and to, to posi positioning of the of the each of the um, of the motors. What was successful uh, in this project and what was the model of the robo robotic arm driven by the permanent magnet synchronous motor? Uh, has been developed visualization and simulation of the robotic arm driven by the synchronous motor and in virtual reality system has been done and uh, comparison and improvements of robot prototype visualization have been realized. Uh, and th there is some um, to, uh, to the end of this project it was decided to prepare uh, two uh, two article uh, both of this article is now in the progress so first one title of the first one is the visualization of the robot arm driving by the firm PMSM motor using with uh, some kind of control system SPDM and new approach for visualization of Delta robot driven by the permanent magnet synchronous motor thank you for attention so the final presentation uh, will be uh, presented by Scott of Czarek. Uh, our guest from Czech Republic uh, was in May uh, in uh, Poznan. Uh, so Piotr, please give uh, us a couple of words about this DNA. Uh, hello everyone, I am Piotr of Czarek and I work on the University of Technology in Poznan and I uh, am in the mechatronic device. Uh, department. Uh, I want to tell about visit uh, of uh, Michał Kasparek from Czech Republic. Uh, he prepared a topic about interactive visualization of glass window vibration dump with piezo electric actuators. This visit was uh, on May in this year. Uh, main goal of this project was to prepare interactive visualization of glass window vibration done with the electric actuator. Uh, challenges was about to create a 3D real-time animated visual model of existing assembly used for experiment because uh, this topic is considered with uh, his PhD thesis. And uh, before project, he uh, prepared experiment with vibrometer. Uh, and uh, he, he collects data uh, from this uh, machine and uh, he can deal with this uh, data, with these uh, parameters to prepare visualization. Next stage is effective data management and analysis uh, using the universal file, uh, file format for all uh, ability and potential multiple functionality. Uh, this file was uh, very big, 80 megabytes, and this is a very big problem to read all data. This is uh, at some, uh, we need some time to read uh, all files and uh, read uh, all data. And the next stage is to de develop an animation algorithm for uh, parametric visualization on analyzing phenomena. Uh, this is uh, some kind of problem to visualize data because uh, data was consist uh, from amplitude of time, uh, time wave, and uh, how many points uh, we want to show on visualization to uh, to show uh, end effect of uh, hydrometers. And the next is to validate the current knowledge of the glass model behavior. And uh, uh, with hydrometer we can uh, 
show how uh, glass vibrates because the vibration are very small and uh, uh, by eyes we cannot see uh, this this effect on this uh, on this detail uh, we the uh, model of uh, this uh, book with glass on the low level is, uh, is connected to some uh, speaker which generate some frequencies. Uh, this is a view of uh, the specific uh, universal file format. Uh, this uh, file was generated from vibrometers. Uh, here we can see uh, effect of visualization and the uh, amplitude was uh, uh, was amplified because we want to see uh, every point on the, on glass how how the glass vibrate. Uh, here we show a uh, short movie. Uh, this movie presents uh, results. This is a standalone application. We can uh, change frequency, and we can uh, see two different uh, two different ways uh, with uh, this glass, uh, with uh, full surface and with some uh, squares. And we can see from every view this uh, this material how great. And this is very useful to prepare uh, some uh, some uh, piezoelectric material to damping uh, this uh, frequency. Okay, and the result was uh, the main goal of the project was achieved by developing the standalone visualization tool. The means of model 3D graphical presentation technologies were utilized to visualize the movement of glass under different conditions, which is to be compared with future measurement and modification. And uh, this, this visualization is very useful for the uh, team to uh, prepare end of PhD thesis. And the program allows uh, viewing the data in a stable 3D perspective with different styles of displacement amplification. This is very important because the real displacement range of blood vibration is very small and fast and thus invisible for human perception. Uh, Results by using the universal file format, the fourth ability and used ability with other measurement or visualization technology is uh, future is warranted because everyone can take this uh, this application and uh, put uh, his, uh, everyone file and uh, everyone can see results in this application. The realization of presented project brought the deeper understanding of technology effect and phenomenon uh, connected with the research of plant model behavior and its application in utilizing the properties of piezoelectric materials for semi-active damping of sound and vibration. <laughs>